Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today I present to you not Jurassic Park, not Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, not Orion Dino Beatdown, not Dino Crisis, not Primal Rage, not Total Carnage, but Primal Carnage. This was a gift to me from my fellow YouTuber and buddy Slushy over at Slushy Previews, which I highly recommend you check out his channel because he does some pretty good work. Uh, this is a multiplayer first-person slash third-person shooter that lets you pick the role of either dinosaurs or humans and duke it out in some sort of arena format. Uh, being the beta version, I'm kind of excited to check it out. Uh, this is going to be live with some other real people, so I never know exactly what to expect. We're just going to jump into a server and give it a shot. My first time playing, I've already set up the options the way I like them, so things should be nice. Well, reasonably nice and smooth, and I have to say, my very first impressions, I already like the title screen better than freaking Orion Dino Beatdown, which is a pile of garbage. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be digging on that game at this point. It's been, uh, I don't know, like, three months or four months or something. But I don't know, it's still, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. I wasn't into it, as you probably know if you watched that episode, and it's a follow-up episode. So still to this day, the only Indie Impressions episode that's gotten a direct follow-up episode out of necessity. So, uh, lovely Unreal Engine graphics, uh, things look very nice to start. Let's take a quick fly through of this map, see what we're about to jump into. Some nice, uh, particle effects for the rain. We've got a pretty cool, what looks like, uh, old raindrops dried on the camera lens effect going on, and of course the flares on the light. Uh, we've got a plane over here. Uh, what's this supposed to be? Is that water? What is that? I'm trying to understand what's going on with the surface of that texture. It seems like maybe it's just washing over with water or something. So it should be interesting playing this, uh, my very first match in darkness, or at least relative darkness. Uh, the level of distance on this seems to matter quite a bit. As you get further away, things get really kind of uh, rough looking, but from close up, things look pretty lovely. And by the time you see this video, this should be out on Steam. I believe it's going up either the same day you'll see this or, like, the day after. Uh, so my apologies for not knowing that right off the top of my head. I probably should have double-checked that, but uh, it should be up. And uh, regardless, I'm going to post the link in the description at the end, so you guys will be able to uh, just click on that and double-check. That is very bump-mapped. Holy crap, the contrast on that is incredible. See, there's always this thing with the bump mapping that bothers me. Like, I noticed this first when I was playing, uh, what was it, Perfect Dark Zero, uh, the redone version. Well, not redone, but, uh, sequel. And, uh, wow, that's kind of an awful looking texture there. Uh, yeah, they get this kind of jellied rubber look to them when they're, like, too bump mapped for some reason. Alright, let's jump into this. I don't want to keep talking for ages. So we've got a number of different classes to play as, as the humans, and then of course when we're dinosaurs we got another number of characters to play as. So Trapper's primary weapon is a net gun, secondary weapon dual pistols. I think that would go, you know, the other way around. Uh, strengths high rate of fire, disables dinosaurs, kill disabled dinosaurs with a knife. Alright, so everybody's got a strength and a weakness. That's kind of a cool factor to uh, consider. Scientists, long range, high damage, drugs, dinosaurs, with darts. Okay, so she's like the date rape dinosaur buddy. Uh, high damage, doesn't need to reload, effective against dinosaurs. Yeah, but we, since you don't need to reload when you run out, you're probably done. Weaknesses, flames block the pyro's view. That's an interesting weakness. What's the Pathfinder have to say about this? Uh, we'll, we'll call him Tarak, I guess. High damage, blinds dinosaurs with flares, high flare capacity. Alright, so he's got a shotgun, and this guy, I mean this guy, the human commando, of course he seems like the best bet to start out with. High rate of fire, low accuracy, powerful grenade launcher, long reload time. Alright, let's start with this guy. Is there even anyone in the server with me? No. Well, that's going to make this rather difficult, isn't it? Alright, so let's just, uh, we'll run around real quick, and then I'll, uh, cut to, uh, an episode, or another, another match where there's something actually going on. I just wanted to see what the weapon feels like when you fire it. feels pretty nice, actually. There's a Triforce over here with some uh, Burnout imagery. I don't know if any of you guys have played, uh, I think it's Burnout Revenge on the Xbox 360. All the achievements are those pictures. Uh, I know they're not inherently from Burnout, though. 
Interesting ivy patterns there. It's got a hard hat area. Alright, well, there's not much to see here when there's nobody on the map with me. Kind of hoping that while I was walking around, somebody would show up and make me not have to quit this. But okay, let's do that then. Uh, so I will make a quick cut and I will be right back at another map. Alright, we are back. Uh, it looks like actually the same map, I think. Let's get a quick view. Yeah. Uh, but we are in a map now with a lot of people, as you can see. So shout out to all you guys playing with me. Let us... Oh, we get to be dinosaurs this time. Alright, so I guess let's pick somebody fun. Uh, can peck. Highlight humans with roar. Fast movement, speed, high vertical jump. Pouncing kills humans quickly. This one blinds them. Small, very high health. Of course, everybody's going to want to be the T-Rex. High health, high damage, high stamina, large target. I'm going to be the Nova Raptor. Because he seems fun. Alright, so here we are, and we've got some sweet, like, x-ray vision. I can roar. There's some... supposed to be, like, a roar button other than... Okay, right click is gonna make me dash jump. Left click is just sort of a, you know, standing swipe type deal. Not sure where we go to, like, get to the enemies exactly, but I guess I'm gonna just kind of assume that they're probably hanging out over here with the other dinos. See if we can maybe flank somebody. It's kind of hard to even see where people are at. Wow, that's incredibly blinding. Holy crap. Um, so I guess when you're playing as a dinosaur, you get a nice third-person view. And when you're playing as a human, you get a first-person view. So I guess that's cool. Sort of makes sense, since the dinosaurs have more going on with their bodies than the people do. People are basically just walking guns, you know, with cameras attached to their, uh, chests. I mean, as is in life, if you've never noticed that by now, you're missing out. Or at least you get your, your blinders on or something. Take a, a good hard look at your life and you'll realize you're nothing more than a, a freaking tube of meat with a camera coming out of it. It's a little cynical, don't you think? Yeah, I probably shouldn't go that cynical. Are there actually people here for me to bite? Because... Being a dinosaur is extremely boring when there's nobody to bite. Um, what's going on over here? Isn't this like that field where Tesla built all the light bulbs in that movie? I don't know. Well, at least I can jump high. That's something. Uh, maybe I can slam dunk. I can get my hands on a basketball. There are far too few basketballs in this level. Where are the people at? They're clearly here somewhere. Alright, I have to uh, confess that I have a little bit of a bias against multiplayer-only online games. Um, not... Okay, maybe bias isn't the right word, but I just have had a lot of poor experiences with them to the extent that I kind of feel like most of the time it's just not even worth it. Um, there's very few times when I've had, like, a great time playing a game that was only designed to be played online. Uh, and that would probably be, like, Team Fortress 2. I, I wouldn't even say that was a great time, but, like, I had an okay time. Oh, there's somebody. Um, that went poorly. See, I have no reticle or anything. Oh, I pounced on him. Oh, another guy's trying to get me. Or another a lady, actually. Wow, the controls are really twitchy. Like, really, really twitchy. Alright, two kills, I guess. Oh, there's another guy. Let's see if I can flank him and come out behind over here. Oh, got him. I kind of missed, I thought. Doesn't seem to be anyone else around. I did turn the mouse sensitivity up just a tad, because the, uh, the mouse in the UI was extremely slow. But I think I may have done it a little bit too high now. So it seems to me like the dinosaurs have a little bit of an advantage. They probably should, honestly. Uh, maybe camp for a moment, see if there's somebody around. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, 
total miss. This guy's got no chance because he's got a flamethrower and I am faster than him. I can actually use the flamethrower to like help find him. Oh, he's got me. He lit me on fire. Now how do dinosaurs do when they're on fire? Apparently pretty well. Let's let this guy get to him a little bit. Oh yeah, he doesn't stand a chance. Hello, I'm up here on this well-lit helipad. Anybody coming? Oh, where are they? Oh, there's a guy. Seems like the humans are a little bit outnumbered. If I do say so myself. Uh, when it comes to pouncing, things could be a little bit better. Alright. I think I'm going to actually jump in the options menu real quick, if I can get just a split second. Because I want to adjust that mouse sensitivity. It's so fast I keep missing people. Save, back. Okay, sorry about that. Let's try that again. Oh, it's made my mouse inverted now. Okay, let's fix that. Sorry. Not sure why that happened. Uh, mouse invert. Alright, mouse actually started defaulted to... It said off, but it was inverted. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm the one that's backward here, and my sense of what inverted means is backward. Could be, actually. Or maybe it's the difference between first and third person, because when I slide up... Yeah, I go up. I don't know, whatever. Hello? Yeah, you're, you're very large. You've got a roar. Where are the dudes? Any any dudes available for me to bite? How am I still alive, actually? This has been a very long life for me. The life of a dinosaur is usually fraught with danger. Victory! Wow. That's a strange way to win. I'm not especially looking forward to playing as the humans, knowing now uh, what being human may have in store. Next round, let's go. Alright, human class, picking commando, we already went through that. Uh, there we go, round start. So I probably want to hang out in like well-lit areas where there's not a lot of room to be flanked. That seems like a good plan for me. I'm usually decent at first-person games. Um, not gonna say I'm amazing, but like I can usually hold my own once I get a feel for the game individually. Oh, there's a raptor or something. There's a T-Rex. Seems kind of weird that you actually get like to just pick T-Rexes by default that you can if you want to. It seems like something you should have to earn. Uh, quite a bit of recoil on that assault rifle when you fire, it seems. Let's see how long the reload animation is. Oh, not very long at all, actually. Oh, oh. Alright, so as long as dudes hang out together, dudes, uh, I'm saying that, uh, as in people hanging in together, uh, you should be relatively safe uh, from getting attacked, like, down and bitten. Oh, okay, hello. What's going on? Somebody's choking. Where did he go? Did he just get picked up? Hey, I shot you in the face! I don't know how dinosaurs do with getting shot in the face. I mean, I can't imagine anything does too well with that. I can't seem to fire grenades anymore for some reason. Oh, because I need to reload. I guess I got mauled a bit. At some point in there. Uh, everybody's up there. Wow, that was quite a death. Wow. Not sure what that big pool of blood was. Okay, a little bit of lag. Lag happens, though. I'm used to that. Uh, just generally having issues with things online is just sort of like par for course when it comes to multiplayer games. Which is another reason that I'm not a giant fan of them. Uh, just because you're almost always going to end up having a slightly flawed experience in one way or the other. I mean, how often do you remember just, like, logging onto an online game the first time, finding a great match, uh, ending up with a bunch of people that weren't, like, racist, degenerate, 
jerk bags and, and having, you know, just getting the game at its best. It's rare, right? I mean, maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's pretty rare. Uh, but I'm not saying that this is a particularly bad game. I actually am enjoying this some somewhat so far. Uh, and I think they did a decent job. And it's still in beta, so I mean, I can't really be too harsh on it. Hello? Grenade? Well, I shot it, but I guess the lag makes that a little difficult. Alright, so you got me. Fair enough. Let's pick a different class. What does this guy have? He has a shotgun. Now let's do the pyro. I want to see the fire. Even though it may obscure my view. I'm aware that this is a risk that happens. So if I alt-fire, am I going to like shoot a burst of air? That would be a little awkward. Dino's on fire! Alright, what other things? We need a cerebral bore now. And a, like, a fully automatic shotgun would be cool. All the raptors... I have no idea what the hell's going on. How are you supposed to see through all... <laughs> there's foliage, there's fire, there's raptors, there's rain, there's lighting effects and crazy bump mapping. I, yeah, I have a thing with that, like... Too much bump mapping makes everything so shiny that sometimes it's just hard to read surfaces. Especially with these crazy lens flares everywhere. Um, I don't know how I'm supposed to snipe anything except for maybe like a T-Rex. Did I even shoot that thing? Whatever. She's kind of useless to play as I have a feeling. Net gun. Who's... Who crap's gonna use a net gun, man? Well, I think I just saw someone use one right as soon as I said that. That's incredible timing. Uh, let's... Hop our way over this way. Um, just kind of got stuck in a wall there. I think it was lag. Tall grass seems like my worst enemy right now. Did you really think you were going to be able to clone these damn dinosaurs and that they weren't going to get out of these cages? Man, I mean, that's just the way it goes. Find the mosquito in the amber. It's all downhill from there. I haven't exactly gotten the hang of, like, what exactly you do with resupplying, uh, you know, running out of stuff. Not sure I'm going to get the hang of that. Hi, you're a dinosaur. Nipple mustache. It's quite a name you've got there. See how reloading works for a shotgun? Uh, pretty much what I expected. I assume you can probably interrupt that. Oh, a oh, raptor somewhere. Their ability to uh, run in circles around you and have a third-person perspective does definitely give them a little bit of an advantage, uh, since you're essentially locked into the frame of view that you particularly have. Oh, there it is. So I guess we will all want to group together in the same spot. Did I get him? Well, he's down anyway. Nipple mustache, man, you're not doing very well with me. I'm sorry, I had to put you to shame today. Let's reload while we've got a little bit of a moment here. Any moment now, there's going to be a team of raptors flying out of the bushes. What are you doing? How are you going to get us like that, dude? Oh, hello. What, what, what was that? Everything's moving so fast, I have no idea. It's an interesting dichotomy. Like, you, you want it to be fast and, like, very uh, responsive and everything, but the concept of playing a game that's extremely fast-paced and having it be a multiplayer online shooter, they almost seem at odds with each other. I mean, fast-paced games are great for offline, but when you're dealing with lag, unless your netcode is absolutely perfect, that's going to be a problem for everybody involved. I can't say it's terrible. So far, I'd say the experience is actually pretty much what I was hoping for. Uh, it's about 200 times better than Orion Dino Beatdown, for sure. What in the hell? Did I w Oh, I won. I have no idea why I just went flying at the end there, but I'm gonna assume the worst. Can I be on the same team as Nipple Mustache, please? Hey, I got an achievement. I'm Primal. Can I finish something and eat its heart? 
Alright, I get to be dinosaurs again. Um, I had a pretty good time playing as the raptor, but I guess let's try this one now. I'll have to do the T-Rex at least once. So this guy's ability is he blinds people, I think it said. Oh yeah, he's the uh, spitter. Alright, so watch out. If you're carrying vials of DNA, I will find you. And I'll vomit acid on your face or whatever they do. Dinosaurs are crazy, man. It's not even that far-fetched considering, you know, we all have acid in us. Uh, I, apparently this charges, it seems. Oh, maybe not. I, it seemed to me like for a second, the longer you wait between blasts of ink or whatever that stuff is, the... Oh, I gooped him. Alright, that guy's kind of lame. Let's be... The Carnotaurus. Which is kind of a ridiculous name. Alright, I'm big and slow. And there's my run. In case you were interested in seeing that. Uh, how do I find some people? I'm gonna find somebody, I'm gonna charge him, I guess. I think that's what I do. Oh, there, there's somebody. Oh, I don't charge, I actually do a weird headbutt. I am not gonna last very long. I can't see anything with that stupid lens flare there. Alright, that guy's not very much fun either. Let's do the T-Rex now. I was just hoping to be able to just charge. Yeah, okay, my right click here is bite. My left click is bite. And my run is bite. No, it's actually run. I have 2,000 hit points. That bodes well for me, being a giant dino. That's the upside. What's the downside of being a giant dino? Well, I guess you can't fit in small places. Uh, your movement is quite restricted. You lack the ability to move in, you know, tiny ways. Like, you can't really get at stuff that's right below you, I guess. That's an interesting... What's going on with that? That walking animation is kind of silly when he gets his head kind of low. Looked like his butt was sticking up, like, flying through the air. Yeah, you eat him. That's what we do. Why are we so angry at these humans again? Just because we're angry dinos in general? I'm curious to know what the backstory- did I really just take falling damage from that? Oh, hello. I don't even think you saw me. Wow. Okay, so if you miss on a bite, you're just kind of like out of luck. Did I get him? I don't think so. Where'd he go? Oh, he's in there. Let's go see if we can meet him on the other end. Oh, I'm stuck on this tree. Well, that is lame. Can't navigate through a couple of twigs. I should feel really strong and powerful when I'm playing as the T-Rex, and right now, that is not what's going on. I actually feel exactly the opposite. I'm not even crushing these trees under my feet. I'd like to see... Oh, maybe it wasn't the trees. Maybe the... Oh, yeah, there's a fence there. I didn't catch that. Still, fences should not bother a T-Rex very much. Can I eat this dino here? For health? I don't know. Maybe I can. Yeah, I should feel like everything in this environment is totally destructible, and running around as this guy, I should be able to just trample it all. Uh, if this was using the Crisis Engine, I think that would probably be a little easier for them to manage. As it stands, I feel pretty incapable of doing much. Uh, even just getting that guy seems really difficult. He's gonna chase me, of course. Oh, I got him. No, 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 no. I think I'm playing Rampage or something. I got her too. Uh, yeah, what I was going to say before is that I would have really liked to have seen damage accumulate to this area over time. Because obviously... Oh, I could have almost eaten him too. Uh, yeah, obviously a, a bunch of T-Rexes trampling around in an enclosed space is going to result in some collateral damage when it comes to the landscape. So it would have been really cool to see, like, the end result of the stage is you've destroyed 95% of everything that's there. 
which would also kind of change the gameplay a little bit because right now I'm restricted by so many of these objects and it would just make it be more fun to be a giant dinosaur. It seems like the, uh, the cons outweigh the pros right now. I mean, having tons of HP is cool, but I'd rather be mobile, honestly, uh, just to be able to navigate the environment. I'm too worried about getting hung up on everything, and it's just sort of slow-paced. And that's fine, I mean, it can be slow-paced, but look at how they do it with Left 4 Dead. When you play as a tank in Left 4 Dead, who is also pretty slow-paced, like, they spawn you pretty close to the dudes, uh, the, you know, the human combatants, and give you, you know, just a few steps to get up to them. Can I get, like, I'd like to get up the staircase, maybe. Oh, hello. I'm always out of run. I chased her away. Did I get her? You gotta be, like, right on top of them to catch them. Oh, hello. Oh, you know what that is? That's flares. No wonder they're blinding. Alright, I'm really dumb. I'm sorry about that. Well, <laughs> I guess play as a T-Rex and you won't die. At least, not often. And, uh, also sorry if the frame rate is dropping a little bit at some of these points. It's probably just a consequence of recording, because it seemed very smooth before. Uh, some things, I'd like to say they're, they're all under my control, but occasionally they're not. Um, I'm gonna play as the flying dude, the pterodactyl, that they're not calling a pterodactyl. How do I do that? Alright, fly? Fly for me? Okay, that's glide. I'm pressing all the buttons here. Spacebar, X, Z, F, Q? Is that Q? Well, I'll certainly take them by surprise if I'm walking around, I suppose. I don't think that's the strength, though, of this particular dino. Oh, it's space. Oh, it's shift, isn't it? Okay. That makes sense. Why am I so bad at video games? It's sad. I just can't psychically intuit what buttons should be assigned to what abilities. Shift actually makes some sense, though. Uh, being able to cross large expanses is pretty nice. What's up with this map also going on for so long? Maybe this particular server is only using this one. How do I... Oh, I should have figured out how to grab him first. That's very bright. Can't see anything. Alright, well the flares actually do their job, I'll give you that. Gliding is pretty cool. It actually feels pretty good to me. Uh, things feel smooth. I feel like I'm in control. Everything seems fairly well modeled from the top, which is something that's not always the case when you have flying in games. Sometimes the developers just sort of like forget that part, like, oh, well you can fly, but we just won't model half the stuff on the, the roofs and everything. Alright, I have no idea how I'm supposed to pick somebody up, so... I'm probably just gonna let myself get shot here. Or I'm just gonna fly around in circles a lot and act like a spastic jerky bastard and hope they don't take advantage of that. Or, or maybe I hope they do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I, I ran distraction for you. Can I change classes on the fly here or is that not a thing? No, that's console commands. Here, kill me. Kill me, I don't want to play as this guy anymore. Please. I'll just not stand still, though, and make it extra hard. Oh, did I get you? I thought I picked her up for a second. Oh, that guy got her. See, I'm helping out. I should get an assist for that. Alright, helipad. I'll land right here, because this is where these guys are supposed to be. You're not an attractive dinosaur, I'm sorry to say. 
Hello? <clears throat> Nobody here, huh? Why are you so boring? How high can I fly? Oh, there's our ceiling. Camera seems to work pretty well, I guess. When you turn sharply on it, it does one of those, like, slowly adjust and turn with you movements, which is, I think, probably the right call. Yeah, I'm very awful at it as well, man. I understand, Mr. Waggles. Did I just hear a chainsaw? I think I just imagined a chainsaw. If there were chainsaws on the uh, human side, I think I'd have a class in mind. Because fighting a dinosaur with a chainsaw actually sounds like the most badass thing I've ever heard. Net gun! I really want to sing that song about neck guns from Robin Big, but I can't remember it right now. Alright, Nipple Mustache, you got your revenge on me. It's well deserved. But you better watch your mustache right now, because I'm going for the nipples. Where are you? Why can't I... I can't leap? I don't know why, but I couldn't jump for a while. Maybe it was holding shift or something. More human blood. I guess these are health packs for dinosaurs. I think that's the only thing that makes any sense. Oh. Physics glitch a little bit here, yeah. Oh, that's what that was. Alright. Still, beta. All's forgiven. Once you have that beta tag on there, it's like, you have a free pass. Once it's gone and you're selling it, then we gotta talk. Hello, Teddy. Or Tedley. I'm not sure what your name is, I can't quite see. I'll just follow right next to you and try and pick off some guys that show up. I'm pretty sure this is my favorite dinosaur to play as because he's so mobile. I haven't played as the tiny one yet, though. Being tiny doesn't sound particularly fun either, just as being giant didn't seem that fun. Uh, the pacing of this seems pretty slow, like the, the pacing of the match, I mean. I don't get an especially uh, good feeling of tension. Like that our teams are really at odds with each other very much. It just sort of feels like we're passing time. Like, we could all just be in a lobby waiting for the actual game to start right now. Also very little in the way of, like, customization and stuff. I know a lot of that stuff comes afterward, but... Yeah, I mean, you pick the, the one thing and that's kind of the way it is, but that could all be coming later, like I said. So I think that's pretty much going to do it for Primal Carnage. Uh, if you haven't gotten a good idea what the game's about by now... Well, you're probably just not watching the video, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, this is uh, the same map, so this server seems to only run this one map, which is a little unfortunate, because I did want to show a few maps in this one, but I guess it's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks very much for watching. Remember, as always, head on over to the website, www.indie-impressions.com. Browse through all my old videos, sort them by genre. Check out our forums, meet some people, earn some pixels, and have a great time. And when you're done with that, don't forget to head on over to facebook.com slash indie impressions where you can leave a like and then I will show up in your daily Facebook feed with all my videos and any news updates that I might have if I need to communicate directly with you guys. Uh, then if you need to get in contact with me directly, uh, hit me up on at Rockley Smile on Twitter or at Indie Impression. Probably don't hit me up on at Indie Impression, but feel free to like that one or follow it rather. Uh, and then you'll see all of the videos I update on the channel or post rather. Uh, but yeah, if you want to contact with me with game suggestions, comments, criticisms, or anything like that, or if you're a game developer and you have a, you know, a review code for a game, or if you want to suggest a free indie game for me, uh, at Rockley Smile is the best way to contact me. And of course, there's also a contact form on the website, and, you know, all those links and stuff are on the uh, front of my channel page on YouTube, so there are plenty of ways to reach me, and if you even just want to play some games, I'm probably up for that too. 
So that will pretty much do it for today's episode. Thank you for coming uh, back and sticking around, and make sure you come back again tomorrow. I do these videos every single day. I'll have another one for you then. So I hope to see you come back, and have a lovely night, guys. Take care. Later.